it went really well yesterday, uh, way better than I was expecting. It's really, really fast uh, to do this, uh, a lot faster than I was expecting, but there are a couple things uh, that I want to point out. One, have a blower nearby, that 20 volt DeWalt blower that I use in my shop a lot. Uh, it's like a, it, Technically, it's a leaf blower. It would be a pretty lousy leaf blower, but it would work really good in this uh, and for this. Uh, just to blow off all the sawdust so you, you don't, when it rains on it at night, you don't have sawdust mud um, and then the transition here from from uh, rail to rail uh, it has a it's not exactly the same uh, one's just slightly taller than the other so I'm gonna file my transition it doesn't make really a difference in the cut but I don't like feeling it uh, I kept have I kept walking around thinking I was hitting the stop uh, because as soon as I touch it I didn't want to push because it cuts so smoothly all of a sudden you just feel this tiny bit of resistance and you're like oh what what's that what's going on uh, and, and that's all it was it's just, it's just going over this so you'd probably get used to it but at the same time I'm gonna smooth mine out problem with doing that is it is going to rest there after you do that because you'll be through the zinc uh, I'm going to go ahead and sacrifice it because I just want it to be smooth just so I don't think I'm screwing something up. Uh, then the other thing that happened with mine, uh, the little guides uh, in here that keep the blade centered, uh, they came loose. I don't think they wore out, but they, they came loose. So they're, they're, they're loose now. So I have to, I'm going to loosen them all up, uh, make sure that the blade is tight. Uh, and then I'm going to reset them, uh, push them up against there and I'm going to tighten them, tighten them down a little bit more than I did last time. Uh, I didn't, I didn't tighten them very tight last time. And, and, and I think that's what, what caused that to happen. But there's four of them, two on either side. Uh, there's three Allen screws each, uh, they're five thirty second Allen screw. Um, and then the last, very last thing, when I go to put the cover, on I have to cover my scale here and I did cut that off at a 45 degree angle uh, so that it's not so sharp and then I put this piece of rubber on with this I think it's like a hose carrier or cord carrier thing it's basically a zip tie with a handle I just put I just put that on there to hold it uh, that way it doesn't punch through the cover because it will uh, that's the really the the worst thing about this whole thing was just that cover uh, was guaranteed to get damaged by that with the backhoe loading uh, it actually isn't bad. I'm not a really experienced uh, backhoe operator, but uh, it was actually really easy loading the logs without hitting stuff. Uh, mine has a turtle mode, so I can flip the switch onto turtle mode, so it makes everything move real slow. That is two logs worth uh, right there, including the dunnage it's sitting on. Uh, that was just that was just two two logs. They're not even particularly big logs. Uh, they were probably well. You can see the width. They're live edge, so that's about oh maybe 14 inches. Uh, across other than the big forks where it was forked. I, I milled it. I thought that would look cool We're gonna paint the background dark green and then put the live edge uh, Out so you, so that you can see it. Uh, I wasn't 100% sure if I was even gonna use this or not because I didn't know how good I was going to be at that mill at first, but uh, it, it is it is so easy, so easy. Just just definitely pay attention at first until you get the hang of everything, so you don't wipe a blade out on the stop or something. 